This video could save your life, not the life of someone you care about. I want to talk about heroic intelligence. This is the idea that men, and sometimes women, need to sacrifice their own lives and happiness for the greater societal and family good. The classic idea of heroic intelligence comes from war and the army. Men would often be expected to risk, or even give their lives in war, for the good of a nation, to jump on that grenade to save your comrades, to work to the point of breaking to help your family and community with little regard for your own long-term health, physical and mental. This can translate into other areas of life. Many people playing games like rugby or American football and other dangerous sports can suffer long-term concussion and health problems related to the sport. Why do people play these games? Is it to achieve the same kind of heroic identity that's been promoted for centuries by the army? and society in general. When we see statues of war heroes and great leaders, we imagine these great heroic men and women. But in a way, aren't these statues also a social bribe to try to set an example we should all follow? Men and women now work at about the same rate. But still, men are working more hours than women on average. And some men still hardly ever see their families despite over half of American men saying they wish they could spend more time with their families, especially when their kids are young. Fathers bond with their kids more through play and care, so fathers who miss this really miss out. It seems deeply unfair on both parents to expect them to go back to work so quickly and to miss their baby learning about the world for the first time. Well, John F. Kennedy said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. In other words, we should put the needs of others before the needs of ourselves. Of course, those are wise words, but in a modern context, we need to make sure we look after ourselves before we can look after others. This kind of heroic intelligence may have worked well in the past, but today, these ideas of self-sacrifice are damaging relationships, but damaging our bodies and they're even ending our lives prematurely. The solution is health intelligence. Health intelligence says we should value individual people, irrespective of their jobs or what they can do for us. Health intelligence says we need to love and care for ourselves and our bodies and the people we are close to. Health intelligence says we should not be embarrassed about weakness or illness. But we should never be afraid to go to the doctor. And when friends and family need us, we should be there to support them. None of us are immortal, and sometimes we need help, physical and emotional help. And we shouldn't be ashamed of that. It's only human. Of course, serving our friends and families and communities is important. But we can't do that unless we take care of ourselves first. So take medical tests when offered. Never be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Value people not for what they can do for you, but for who they are. And offer unconditional love in good times and in bad. Look after yourselves.